Liliasa. Today I'm going to do a look inspired by the character Hannah Marin on Pretty Little Liars. Ever since I did the video for Aria, I've gotten so many requests from you guys to do the other liars from that show. I was on the website looking at the recent cast photos and I just loved Hannah's entire look. Um, I will post the picture that I used as inspiration. I'll post it on my blog. I can't post it in this video due to copyright reasons. Um, so what I'm gonna do in this video is a little bit different. I'm gonna show you how to do the entire look. So it's going to be hair, makeup, nails, fashion and styling. So I'm gonna show you everything from start to finish. Let me know in the comments if you wanna see more kind of star style recreations like this, cause I think it was a lot of fun to do. And I hope very much that you guys enjoy this video. So keep on watching. I already had a few things in my closet that would work for Hannah's look. But one thing I didn't have is the black denim she wears. They're slightly shiny as is the trend right now. So I hit the stores to find a great dupe. Now this pair looked interesting, but maybe they're a bit too shiny for what I'm looking for. So I tried on my first pair of denims and they definitely had that shiny black texture going on that I'm looking for, but they also fit kind of weird, so no, I ended up putting those back. Now this next pair looked more promising from the fit and they also had the right texture, but they ended up being more of a pewter gray than a true black, so again, a no-go. Okay, so on to the next store. Oh my gosh, look at these pants. They look like a spacesuit. Not really what I'm looking for. These black denims are so funky. I mean, look at all the glitter. These would have been so perfect for a New Year's Eve party. So I finally found a pair that I think looks about right. Now these ones are from H&M and as you can see they have an ultra shiny finish. They almost look like leather pants but they're denim. So I think I'll give these ones a try but actually now that I'm looking at them maybe they're actually a bit too shiny. Now the ones right beside look perfect. Black denim, satin finish, so they have a very slight sheen. I had to improvise for Hannah's belt because I couldn't find the exact same style she's wearing here. But that's okay, remember we're just going for the overall feel and style of her look. So if you can't find the exact same pieces, just see what works. Now Hannah's wearing a few chunky rings in this picture, so I'm looking around for another ring to go with the armor ring that I already own. Since her outfit is a lot of black and hardware, I'm trying to stick to that theme. So here you can see a couple options of what might work. Remember, you can always mix and match with your own pieces. Okay, so I've got some belts, the top, and a few pairs of pants ready to try on. The pants are a fit, yay! So, okay, I think I've got everything I need, so it's time to go home and put this outfit all together. So here's the clothing and the shoes I picked up, and you'll see the shoes later on in the video. One thing I always notice in Pretty Little Liars is that the girls wear really trendy nail polish colors. Now in the inspiration picture I used, Hannah's wearing a bright red orange color on her nails. To dupe the look, I'm using this shade Ready To Go by the brand Annie. So I went ahead and applied two coats of this eye-catching color on my nails. Sorry if my cuticles are looking a bit ragged, um, I actually just got back from a backpacking trip to Asia, so my nails aren't exactly in their best shape. Finish the nail polish off with a nice top coat to make it shiny and last longer. Hannah's makeup is actually really simple. Her signature look is a light brown smoky eye, glossy pink lips, and a natural cheek. For the eye makeup, I first applied an eyeshadow base, then I used this neutral vanilla color in a matte finish and swept it underneath my brows and all over the crease area. Next, I used a light brown eyeshadow on a fluffy round brush and applied it to my crease area to give my eyes some depth without adding too much darkness. Then I used a bronzing dark brown color with a shimmering finish and I applied it to my outer eye area, sweeping it inward over my lid. Now I'm blending it all together with the mid-tone brown shadow that I applied before to give that very easy, smoky look. I also applied the dark brown color on my lower lash line with a fluffy brush because it looks like Hannah's eyes are really soft and smoked out. 
Now for the eyeliner, I didn't want anything too harsh, so I used a brown pencil liner and I applied it on my top and bottom lash line. Then I intensified the color just a little bit by adding a smidgen of black and blending it out. Hannah's got quite strong eyebrows, so I used a brown matte shadow to fill in my brows. Now strong defined brows are definitely in at the moment, so don't be afraid to add a bit of depth here. Lastly, I put on mascara on my top and bottom lashes for that really full luscious look. Since Hannah's coloring is quite fair, her cheeks are often kept pretty neutral. I'm going to replicate that look with a soft apricot colored blush. Now this is one of those shades where you just can't go wrong. It goes with everything and just makes your skin look really healthy. To complete the makeup, choose a soft medium pink lip shade. I'm using these two lipsticks and mixing them together to recreate Hannah's understated but very glossy lips. You could even finish the look off with a touch of clear lip gloss at the end. Okay, so obviously I don't have Hannah's hair color or haircut, but lately she's been rocking a more edgy, fashion-forward style with her hair that I'm going to try to mimic. I'm using a clipless one-inch barrel curling iron here and grabbing large sections of my hair and wrapping them around the wand in a very random pattern. I let it sit for a moment until the curl pattern is locked in my hair, and then I release it and just let it do its thing. So just don't touch the curls until they're completely cool. I like to do the sections also in different directions, so I'll do one rolling forward and the next one rolling back. You just don't want it to look too perfect. So I'm going to do this technique to my entire head, and actually it really doesn't take very long at all, trust me. Now my front section is layered, and it always kind of looks a bit poofy and just unruly, so I'm going to do this part a bit differently. I pull my bangs back over a hairbrush and I just make sure to grab all the shorter hairs. And then I use my GHD flat iron and pull the section upwards away from my scalp. I kind of roll it over my straightener. So that gives the roots a bit of lift and it also helps to smooth out any kinks that I have there. Then I just place the section how I want it to blend with the rest of my hair and it just makes it look very flattering. For styling, I'm using this texturizing powder by Schwarzkopf. I just sprinkle some into my hands and then just work it through my curls. I know it looks kind of weird, but this stuff is awesome. It adds so much volume and hold to my hair without having to use a teasing comb. Now I'm also going to use a bit of hair pomade, so I kind of like to emulsify that in my hands and then just scrunch it through the curls. This is going to add some texture and also make the curls look a bit more tousled and just less perfect and prom curl looking. And oh yeah girl, you gotta whip your hair back and forth, mm-hmm. Okay, so I think I've pretty much got the volume and the texture that I want, so I'm gonna set the style in place with just a bit of hairspray. And there you go, va va voom sexy hair. So now let's get on to the fun part, putting the whole look together. So here's all the items I picked out. Now some of the things I already own from before, so I really only had to buy the shoes, the denims, the belt, and one ring. Here's the accessories I'm going to wear. They're all kept in the same color family and perfectly replicate Hannah's style from the inspiration picture. You'll find details of everything I'm wearing in my blog, so head over to mischievous.tv on where to buy. I couldn't find a perfect dupe for Hannah's shoes, but these booties just really go with the denims, and I can definitely imagine Hannah wearing something like this in an episode. Okay, so here's the whole look put together. The cropped leather look jacket I already owned, so I basically just recycled it for this look. You can see how I improvised with two belts to cinch in the gray shirt, and the sparkly pewter gray cuff bracelet goes really well with the chunky rings. The orange nails adds a touch of color to this black look. The denims have a slight sheen here as you can see and they're slim fit so I think they go really well with the other textures of the outfit. Also um, since they're jeans they're really really comfortable. Now if you're too warm you can always just take off the jacket and that'll also showcase the choker necklace and the spiky earrings. I think this necklace is such an eye catcher and a statement piece. 
And here you can see the two rings I wore, similar to what Hannah's wearing in the inspiration picture. I just love this armor ring. Finally, here's the booties that I purchased. Now they have an interesting side enclosure detail, which is kind of similar to Hannah's shoes, and the heel is also not too high, so they're actually quite easy to walk in. So is this something that you'd wear? Let me know in the comments whose celebrity look you want me to do next. And also, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up to show your support. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time and take care. Bye.